Sophistophone, Aristocats, distinguished dogs, clean up your ass, pull up your pants, ladies and gents. What's up, people, and welcome to another episode of It's Hip Hop Healthy. I'm your host, Dr. Ronnie Whitfield, also known as the Hip Hop Doc, bringing you more information in a lively and energetic way. I'm actually here in Atlanta, Georgia, hot Atlanta, at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Oh man, this was this was great. I'm actually at the Power to End Stroke Awards Gala, the second annual Power Awards, sponsored by the American Heart Association, American Stroke Association, Sanofi Pharmaceuticals, and Bristol Myers Squibb. And man, it was a ball last night in the house. We had BB Winans, uh, we had Lexi Prater of the Word Network, uh, Lonnie Hunter, Dr. Bobby Jones. Man, it was a great evening and a great time. And we honored those who use various methods in the community to educate those about stroke and heart disease. If you didn't know, stroke is the number three killer of all Americans and a leading cause of disability and lost days of work. About 100,000 African Americans suffer stroke each year. We are twice as likely to have a stroke as African Americans than other ethnic groups, so something must be done. This is a preventable disease, and if you don't know about it, then it can hurt you. Um, I'm going to jump a little back to the nutrition because I really appreciate what you're telling, especially my young athletes out there. And, and not, not everybody that we're talking to, Terrence, is an elite athlete like myself. Uh, <clears throat> some of these people are just average, everyday individuals who are not exercising enough. Right. Uh, obesity is a huge epidemic in our community. Hypertension, diabetes is killing African Americans. Um, when you talk about nutrition and exercise from just a layman, not an athlete, what, what, do, you, what do you think is important just to the general public about exercise? You feel better overall when right. you when you uh, when you exercise when it when it becomes a part of your livelihood. Right. Um, you know, it's just routine, and you know, it's like thirty minutes a day. You don't have to kill yourself to do it, and uh, you know, it, it helps out a lot. Um, you know, you you you're, you're more alert. Okay. You sleep better. Um, you know, you're able to to do some of the things you used to do. Um, you know, before you decided to become an armchair quarterback. <laughs> the <laughs> armchair quarterback. I like that. I got a couple yeah. homeboys. They put, they're watching it now, eating a donut and an extra large uh, sugary soda. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to exercise after I finish this interview. You know, it's interesting. Every time I travel, I look for hotels with, with exercise facilities. The Ritz-Carlton here in Atlanta has a beautiful facility to work out. Uh, you can run. You can do things in your hotel room. So there's no excuse really for not exercising. Like Terrence said, and this this brother is not only an extreme elite athlete, but just very intelligent. I mean, one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. But 20 to 30 minutes of activity, five to seven days a week, is what you need to maintain your health. I mean, it's very simple. Moderate moderation in your diet. I can't, you know, some people are going totally organic. Some people are vegetarian. But if I had to make general recommendations, you know, just eat in moderation, eat healthy, drink lots of water, stop smoking, just some basic and general things. Yeah. Um, now, Terrence, I want to kind of get off a little bit. But tell me a little bit, who, who's your favorite athlete, uh, track and non-track? Just curious, who, who you admire, who you respect in the game? Um, see, my favorite non-track athlete right now probably be, uh, wow, we're going all over the place with this one. Just just off the top, uh, off the cuff. I, I like the challenge. Yeah, because I like... Uh, could be basketball. Foot, football, football is my favorite sport. Okay. Uh, right now, I really like Devin Hester. Devin with, Hester. Uh, Chicago Bears. He's nice. Because, uh, I mean, he he actually, I think, has transcended the uh, punt and kick return position. Devin is in a the NFL. monster. And, and it, fast. And it was, and it was funny <laughs> because, you know, before, before he uh, went to the league, they were trying to figure out where would they place him. Right. And I think he is actually uh, legitimized the return uh, specialist He's as dangerous. a physician. And, uh, you know, I'm a big Bears fan. So, uh, of course, I was really uh, cheering for him, especially in the Super Bowl. Right? <laughs> but uh, it's Didn't okay. Quite work it's out. okay. That's all right. He's coming back. We live and die by it. I hope so. you're seeing this, Devin. Your boy's shooting you some love. Um, okay, so we, we got our non-track athlete. And, and, I mean, it's interesting because the guys in the NFL with all these elite athletes, why would you kick away from somebody? They're scared to kick the ball to the Devin Hester. It's, it's amazing. Right. What about your what about your track athletes? Got to be some role models, some people that that you uh, looked up to or influenced your running. Um, believe it or not, I think uh, Alan Johnson was a big influence. Oh, wow. You know, wow. he's uh, he's always like a big brother. Okay. You know, to me, he trained at uh, South Carolina okay. while I was there in okay. school, and uh, I picked up, you know, a lot of good things from him. He kind of took me under his wing, and so, uh, you know, I had the experience of training with a perennial uh, number one athlete in the world year in and year out. So that's I amazing. got that type of uh, orientation to it. You know, and that's that's interesting to say that I found uh, in the track community, guys are really open and uh, receptive to helping. And I'm 
training for this this master's event and working with Claston Bernard, who's mm -hmm. a decathlete from Jamaica. He lived in, he lives in Baton Rouge. Only lost two races his entire history at LSU. And uh, Walter Davis, a, a triple jumper, they're both uh, attempting to qualify for 2008 uh, Olympics. So that's that's great. Um, what about uh, something that's passionate? And you know why I'll do it. I'm, I'm a hip hop head. What's your favorite music, favorite artist? Let me hear a little bit about the personal side of uh, Terrence Tramiel. <sighs> I have so many uh, artists. Now, you're not like harder. It. You better not slip. With Jam Jermaine Dupree, we got uh, Louis <laughs> Chris well, right see, You know, Outkast started it all. Okay, so though. That was my boy. That's that, right. That, that, that made it happen. You. So, so, that's right. Your mom and your cousin, too. <laughs> so I've, always been, I've always been an Outkast fan. I okay. like them because, uh, for one, I mean, they're from Atlanta. Right. Um, you know, two, they always have, I think, a, a, a valid message in their songs. I mean, they're, they're abstract. Exactly in the way they present it, but, you know, uh, for people that really think outside of the box. They are different. Right. People I love Andre's clothes. Of, right, well, right. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think that chemistry is so good together, yeah. you know. Um, you know, I also like, uh, who else do I like? I, I like, I like Jay-Z. Um, can't, can't hands down. One yeah, of the best. He, he, I mean. One uh, of the goats, the greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah, and, um, you know, more so from like a a producer mogul standpoint, uh, uh, Diddy. Diddy. You know, he's done he's Jay -Z. done so many things. Yeah, Jay Z <laughs> again. You right, know, right. and uh, I'm at a point. I'm at a point now where uh, you know I can really acknowledge and, and appreciate brothers doing things that are that are really positive. I mean, um, even though uh, um, even though some of the songs I might not like or, or their style I might not like what I do like is what they're doing wow you know that's and, impactful uh, I think I think that it's 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 a huge thing to understand uh, the grand scheme of things more so you know uh, what they're doing more so than how they do it right you know so um, I know, hope y'all hear that a lot of them, the old know. school you know a lot of them hating on these rappers and you know, rap is the music, hip hop is the culture, and I could go on my long spiel about that, but all I want to say is that there are some positive things out there that are being done. The hip hop guys, this is the most positive form of self expression to hit the 20th, 20th century. And so there's a lot of positive going on. The hip hop doc's trying to do his thing. I got T. Tramiel in the house. You know how we do it. Uh, Terrence, I'm going to end this interview with a little challenge for you. I want to see if you, you know, you, you, you know, what's the boy's name from China? I can't, I can't remember his name. Lu Chang? Yeah. I think that's what his name is. He, 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 he would answer these questions like that. So uh, I'm going to give them to you straight. I'm going to give you one word, and okay. I, want, I want a one-word response. It's going to be five things, and, and, and I'm going to let you roll. I'm going to let you go train. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Ronaldo Nehemiah. <sighs> Greatest hurdle of all time. Beyonce Knowles. <laughs> <laughs> you want to rewind? Uh, <laughs> young, young legend already. Gold medal. Terrence Tramiel's. Bam. Fried chicken. Only on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Chang. <laughs> Let me answer that one for you. Second place. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Terrence Tramiel, Dr. Ronnie G. Whitfield, a.k.a. the Hip Hop Doc, here in Hot Atlanta at the Power Awards. It's a great weekend. We want to thank Terrence for coming out. And uh, listen, guys, take your exercise, take your health seriously. We did a lot of clowning and laughing, but there's a lot of serious things in there, especially to my young people. You know I love you. Try to do the best things that we can to get you ready. It's the Hip Hop Doc. They call me H2D. Come on, Terrence Tramiel. Let's get hip hop healthy. Peace. We out. Go on. Track Star Apparel coming soon. Track Star Apparel. Get yours.